Hello, beautiful. Welcome to the United Way. My name is Rav Dukan, the presenter of the show. In this video, we have a lot to talk about. I'm scared because we might go over 15 minutes and uh, I have to break the, the rules in this one. Yeah, guys, before we in this video, we'll talk about Cristiano Ronaldo, the developments of Cristiano Ronaldo's situation. We'll tell you what Duncan Caston has come out with today. We'll tell you about also the star man which manchester united fans want to bring um, to manchester united which is uh antony will give you developments about the games yesterday that united played we'll tell you again about the young this is a, a topic i hate talking about but it regards to united but uh it's, it will be a short one but before we start guys please uh make sure you smash a like on the video guys make sure you share the videos on all your facebook and social medias and uh, subscribe you can follow us on our socials below we have just closed we are less than three thousand subscribers we're talking about five thousand some days ago less than three thousand subscribers to hit that five thousand mark which we were going to do a big giveaway but yeah as you see we have changed in the studio we've been brought a new mic so uh, guys we are growing as a community so smash that like for that yeah in, let's start with Cristiano Ronaldo we all know that two days ago he met uh, with um, uh, Manchester United board Sir Alex Ferguson was in that meeting as well and uh, Ronaldo uh, reiterated his position that he wanted to leave Manchester United he was there alongside with his um, um, uh, his uh, uh, agent the super agent you guys know uh, uh, in um, the name just went out of my head you better uh yeah it's not it's not really important but while he was there with the super agent so they had this dialogue with uh, manchester united we were told that it was a tough one a very tough um, um uh, it wasn't an easy uh discussion yeah in regards to uh the, the meeting united ronaldo had we had see alex ferguson who was there which i said the reason why Alex Ferguson was called we're not know we don't know if he was invited or he came by himself you know say alex ferguson does have an office in old trafford um uh, until now but uh, we're told he doesn't want to he he has never wanted to to jump into matters when regarding the club he has always left the managers to be in control uh i think he was invited once on training even it was by jose moreno if you guys remember back then so chris say alex ferguson uh, um was there actually um, um uh, united made their position clear there so ronaldo is not for sale but developments have come today that uh, uh after before the meeting, uh, Ronaldo uh, Mendes, that's the agent, George Mendes, uh, the agent of Ronaldo, had presented Ronaldo for many, to many clubs. Uh, he presented them to Alentico under a lot of, uh, well, we saw a lot of uh, protests from Alentico fans too yesterday on their friendlies that they don't really want Ronaldo to come. That no, there's no place for Ronaldo and Alentico. We know the history between these two clubs are very, um, are not, are not something the generation today's generation will keep would forget it. So. Um, that's the state with Ronaldo. Today, he has been, uh, we have been told by Dokken Castle that he, has, he was presented to Napoli and Italia because Ronaldo's main aim of leaving Manchester United, according to him, is that he wants to play Champions League football. He wants to play Champions League football. That's what he's all about. We know he missed the Champions League. We know he loves those Wednesday, Tuesday games. And uh, I, I just want to ask you guys, guys, you, uh, this channel is your channel, right? Uh, what do you think about my Cristiano Ronaldo? Do you think Cristiano Ronaldo should be United should sell Cristiano Ronaldo? Uh, because we had uh, Prince Ondion who came out with a cracking um, question, um, uh, comment on my previous video. And guys, if you do have, if you do write very interesting comments, you give a shout out on this video. It's normal. This is a fan channel, interactive fan channel. So yeah. So Prince Ondion came out with this um, com um comment that he thinks Cristiano Ronaldo should stay his experience is needed and that we should bring in uh, and, uh why, why no matter the signing of uh uh Anthony he thinks Cristiano Ronaldo to stay and I think he was I did I did share his uh opinion on this one because I think generally Cristiano Ronaldo is someone which uh he was massive believe me he scored 24 goals in a crappy Manchester United team last year and imagine with an with a, with a slightly upgrade team if we do have the young year we already have uh, martinez and i would say that ericsson will be a key man if cristiano ronaldo stays the thing is that cristiano ronaldo personally this is the way i see it that he he is someone he's he is all about records right how many games how many scores he's someone who has built his his brand be like uh, uh, around success and he, he i'm lean he, he the reason he's leaving manchester united is very simple he sees that the club is not ambitious uh it does not meet the ambitions that he yeah, that he met you know whenever you want to buy a player you ask the question oh why didn't he know why did he come in the first place because whenever you want to bring a team a club to manchester united i mean bring a player to your club you always show a project and th that the player is um 
is um, influenced by that project, if you see what I mean. So sometimes you keep to your words, sometimes you don't. In the case of Cristiano, Manchester United did not keep to their words in terms of bringing players. I think Pogba complained about it all these years in Manchester United. It's not about buying big players, it's about buying strategic position. United still haven't had a CDM, especially CDM in the past, I mean, five years. We had a, a, an aging uh, Matic who has gone to Roma. So today reports are saying that uh, he has been presented to or, um, Napoli and Napoli are looking very carefully on the situation. Let's move to the second player. Yeah, we have 15 minutes, five, 10 more minutes to go. Yeah, it's uh, Lisandro Martinez who was um, unveil unveiled yesterday. You want to watch my video on that, you can go on the channel or you see it at the end of this video. Martinez, I think what those when Martinez bring, brings to your team. I have heard some of you guys saying that, oh, Martinez is too old. Uh, uh, sorry, Martinez is too inexperienced in the Premier League. He doesn't have Premier League experience. I will tell you guys that you watching the video, you don't have a Premier League experience because Martinez is someone you have. You don't know the guy we have signed. Every player, any player can be a flop in the Premier League. That's 100%. Any player can, can underperform in football. There is no guarantee, right? Except your Maradona. But I would say that the issue here is Martina is someone who has played a lot of Champions League. He has international uh, experience, club experience, and national team. He has eight caps in the national team. He is a very versatile player. I said on my, my review yesterday about him signing that Martinez will be that type of player that we have missed since when we lost Andre Herrera. You know, Manchester, every club had, needs a player that really, that is, the, that is a fan favorite. And I think uh, Martinez will easily pick it up. He's for, he is for a defender. He's just too technical for a defender. And um, I just think he's just the guy who United needs. And uh, most of all, most of all, what I really, exp I really um, uh, admire with Martinez was that he wants to play for the team. Guys, you guys, you need to understand there's a lot of money in football. Some players move just to make a paycheck. If you want a good example for me is I wouldn't blame him. It will be someone like, like, um, um, a player, player, some players are not ambitious, you know. A player like Phil Jones, why is Phil Jones in Manchester United? If he just really wanted to play, I know he's not having playing time, he wasn't even uh, among the players in the tour. Why is he not looking for another club? Because he wants just the money simple it's not about the football but i understand everyone has uh has his opinion on this so that's it with martinez, martinez. yesterday martinez and uh, was unveiled alongside with christian erickson which uh, is an emotional one i won't talk a lot about it because i have the video already on the channel but what i will tell you guys is that christian erickson these two players took part in a friendly yesterday event against um rexel rexham rexham which united uh that's uh, rexham yeah which united won four goals to one so i didn't watch that game i won't stand here and lie so i watch it was kind of an indoors we know that ganacho the playmaker argentina scored we know that um ericsson scored in his first game with manchester united which is nice which is nice which is nice and um uh, martinez also uh, played and uh, i think Teles also scored Teles this is another one which we we are not sure how we're going to use him next year but he scored yesterday and uh, there you go that's uh development in regards to that so let's talk about the the the, the man of the of the transfer which is uh I don't want to go to the young the man of the transfer that the fans want it is no one else but antony antony the situation with antony and ajax is simple ajax now the thing is that manchester united messed up this train it is uh this transfer window it and guys if you keep asking yourself why is united not doing well it's very simple because we are owned by people who are not fan of the club I, you, for you guys to know John Mertor was brought from Everton. John Mertor, right? Who is in charge of transfer? The technical director who is in charge of transfer was brought from Everton. You have somebody like um, uh, the Glazers are not football fans. They know nothing about football. They are all about balance sheet, bottom line, creating money, and that's it. So they are not. They don't. They are not like you and I. So you, you need to understand where the problem is coming on from. And the biggest mistake these guys have done is that they have brought only their friends. They have not. Uh, how can you put it? Guys, sorry, I, I have a back issue, to be honest. 
the, so they, they, they have brought their friends, right? They, they have not brought professionals to manage the team. And this is a big problem for Manchester United. You can see that in all the years, you have all the Ed Woodwoods. These are all connection, people connected. Ed Woodward was one of those who helped the Glazers to buy Manchester United. He worked for Nike in the South America. You know, this is, this is the connection. This is why you see, it is so simple why Manchester United is not doing well on the pitch. It's just because we don't have people in football taking care of football stuff. You know, it's like you have a bricklayer taking care of your your yeah, babysitting your child. Let me put it this way. That should never happen. So um, the situation here um, in regards to um, uh, Manchester United, as I said, is just because of that. It's just because of that. It's because we don't really have people who, uh, who are motivated like you and I to make the club uh, excel and grow. So um, um, that's why till we get these people out of this team, I still believe that it will be really hard. You, it will be really hard for uh, for Manchester United to win a trophies under the, the, the Glazers. I mean, because if you can, Ten Hag must be shitting on his pants now and thinking, what 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 the hell have I come into? Because uh, it, I mean, it's, it's it's a disgrace, guys. It's it's a disgrace to be honest. Yeah. So let's talk about uh, the the um, Anthony. The thing is, Anthony. Uh, come talking about Anthony, sorry, we haven't finished there. Anthony Ajax, Manchester United. Remember two months ago, Anthony was worth 40 million pounds, right? 40 million pounds, 40 million euros. And Manchester United, Ajax started selling, selling, selling their players. Ajax have sold almost seven, almost 60, over 60 percent of their players um, this season. They have a, a business, uh, you know, we all know this. I think most of you might have known this. But if you don't know, Majak's business system uh, uh, style is they play, they have, the, their concept is we play, we, ha we build up a team for two years. Every two years, we have to sell at least three or, or maybe five players, depending on how the talents and demand, the demand and supplies are. So you know, Ajax has uh, managed to sell these players already, and they have sold, and now he, they, uh, they, uh, they don't want to sell. Because when, two months ago, uh, um Anthony was worth 40 million 40 million euros honestly and uh, and uh, just two weeks ago when uh, Manchester has delayed all uh, because Manchester United had delayed all their efforts just for De Jong which is useless which um I think um, is it's it's becomes a is now like a fiasco because the De Jong situation I'm still 80% but this is the type of situation this is a, a situation which a player will not want to be playing for a team that does not want to pay that old team doesn't want to pay him but want him to reduce his salary which he has accepted but 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 still wants to i think he wants to leave barcelona but again man 15 million pounds is a lot of money from from the young to leave so i can understand the, the situation but it's a disgrace for barcelona coming back to uh, the player Anthony. so because of the young Anthony's deal was pulled along we all know that the manager wanted Anthony, and now Anthony ajax is asking a hundred million euros a hundred million euros anthony isn't worth a hundred million euros let's um tell me what you think is anthony worth a hundred million euros yeah you will tell me oh i don't care and i also personally i don't care how much the, the board pays for this but again we have to we have to be realistic uh, here and uh and uh show the culprits of this situation the culprit is it it's is of this situation and uh those to blame is in ajax Ajax are scared that they are losing the whole team. They have a, a championship to, to play next season. And uh, they, they, they are not saying Anthony is not for sale. They're saying now, okay, we're bringing up the salary, the, 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 the demands so that um, uh, we can push out play, uh, clubs that are not interested. So Manchester United, in a nutshell, is paying for his uh, lateness, right? Because he for acting very late on the market. Because if you have people like Gravenberg who, has, who went for adding less than 30 million pounds and that's a, that's a fantastic midfielder then you, you i mean we're buying i mean if you yeah, lisandro martinez is a good player but you know 57 57 million um uh, uh pounds with add-ons i know for for martinez is a lot of money guys let's agree with that i think you agree with me on that one um well back then we we're talking about 30 million max or maybe 35 for him but now we're talking about we're 57 million this is because we don't have specialists we don't have the, uh, we don't have people who are really good and who are football people who are, who are building up the they are building up good connection links talking about how to build up uh, build up links in a social world in a management world it's just like what we do have fan channels here right and also in this in this industry which we are you have someone like Fabrizio Romano 
he, he, uh, there was one of his video he talks about him building his contacts with clubs presidents club directors so this is how the relationship you have with clubs that's how he helps you on uh, days when you have to buy player but manchester united those guys are bloody uh, arrogant they are really they, they really are Manchester United just think that they, they have um, they have an approach that we have the money we can buy whatever thing we can buy so it is a bad 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 strategy so let's close it out here with uh, I think we did 15 minutes already yes yeah. so let's close it out with De Jong as I said De Jong situation is still the same De Jong has come out and said he if he want if he comes to to the Premier League he wants to go to Chelsea he doesn't want to come to Manchester United but again Manchester United have agreed a transfer to you with Barcelona. Barcelona will sell De Jong. It's just a matter of time. That's the, for that, I'm not even worried about that. I've seen a lot in football. Barcelona will sell De Jong. But the issue here is not that Barcelona will sell De Jong. The issue here is... Um, the issue here is not that Barcelona is going to sell. The issue is when. It could be when the season has already started. Because Barcelona cannot register players if they don't sell. So... Um, for just a recap uh this video we are talking we talked today about lisandro martinez who was signed we talked about uh the friendly that united won and players who scored we talked about uh cristiano ronaldo which is a uh, very important year in the situation which he has been offered to napoli and uh, it isn't clear yet um if napoli will accept uh, the mendes have offered him to up napoli he's ready to take a massive co uh, pay cut in order to play the champions league and uh, we have talked about also the uh, the young and the challenges uh, which our shit show of a board have done for us the, and guys don't don't forget we uh almost like we are like uh, a week a week from now we'll be playing the premier league i think 10 10 days like the premier league kicks off and guys for those of you watching this channel we'll be doing a lot of watch along but the first three games of the premier league i will not be i'm taking my holiday so i'm going to be around the beach but i will do all my um pre-match uh videos and also my um uh my final scores pre-match and final scores video so my rating player ratings and final score videos i will do them uh, on the channel i will do them i might do them on the beach i might do them anywhere it's somehow my part of my <laughs> part of the wood so hope you guys will, uh, 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 you guys would do uh, appreciate it and guys thank, thanks a lot guys so as i said we have built we are building up a small community here of uh, manchester united fans i know we can go places with you guys we're improving our our speakers i think on dawn will love the speakers today i think on dawn he talked about his uh, volumes but uh, yeah guys it was great speaking to you guys have a nice day lovely day uh smash a like on the video uh if you like the video and if you don't like the video smash a like on the video if you're a football fan so we can help this i hope the video go to uh, arrive to many united fans and as they answer the question should united sell my um uh, cristiano ronaldo and why i'm ready to reply your question personally with all that said talk to you soon and stay tuned if there is a breaking news we'll go live immediately so uh click your bells have a nice day ciao ciao